All right, guys, I need you to stop scrolling. Just stop scrolling right now. Listen to me. I'm about to tell you something really important. I just got it from two very valid sources and then pushed it right back to the actual UN meeting that took place on the 19th. Uh, yeah, let's just look at this. I thank Mr. Chu for his briefing. Uh, I'd now like to give the floor to Ms. Sarah Manker. Thank you, Mr. President, for inviting me to address the Security Council. I come here today to share insights from our data that the Russia-Ukraine war did not start a food security crisis, a crisis we detected tremors from long before the COVID-19 pandemic exposed the fragility of our supply chains. In five months, we have undone 20 years of progress. This isn't cyclical. This is seismic. It's a once-in-a-generation occurrence that can dramatically reshape the geopolitical era. Official government agency estimates from around the world put wheat inventories at 33% of annual consumption. Verifiable data from public and private sources that we as a company organize and then build statistical models to connect the dots between in our platform show that global wheat inventories are in fact closer to 20%. We currently only have 10 weeks of global consumption sitting in inventory around the world. So basically we have somewhere between 70 days and 10 weeks to get our heads out of our butts and um, put some cans on shelves. Water, food, security. I'm passing a lot of detailed information to my Patreon. If you wanna join that, go right ahead. There's a link in the bio. I'm also gonna put a detailed video of what was there the actual, what was the actual thing that was said and done there in the UN. I'm going to be making that YouTube video. It will be on YouTube at the time I post this video. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe, have a great day, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you when I see you. Bye.